bookstore owner? No, you're too busy. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how fucking busy that dude is. You just did a stretch. You didn't, didn't line up your chat correctly. <laughs> Here you go, Frank. You know, I've been hearing what you're talking about, and you guys are getting pretty deep over there. Yeah, I don't know. We're just bantering, really. I don't know. It's probably not my place, but you two are cute together. Thanks. Thanks for not <laughs> noticing. I, I thanks, think. For, thanks for not. <laughs> thanks for nothing. I thought I said notching first. Like, oh, that doesn't make any sense. Can we talk to the bookstore owner again? Well, nah, nah coffee, it's not worth it. He's not going to Coffee's going to fall. Yeah, he should be looking at the his feet, not the roof. Got to walk where you're step. Look where you're stepping. You're gonna drop all these coffees. How do I don't have five coffees? It looks like he only had two. I mean, it's two dimensional, so it's really hard to tell. But it looks like he only has two. Can you oh, control no, the speed no, you're walking? No, it's going super slow. Oh, okay. I hope she's not allergic to green tea. Well, maybe. Don't kill her. I brought you a, a green tea. Seriously? Oh, Frank, you didn't have to do that, but thank you. Don't mention it. I think so highly of you now. I've never had so much respect for a man before. Green tea? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> it, tea comes in green now? <laughs> hey, so it's poking around the business section. And check this out. Starting your own business for imbeciles. Oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking. If things don't work out at our current company... You know, oh, that's a pretty good idea. Considering... You really think so? Yeah, you know, if things don't work out here, I could easily start freelancing or, or something. But to be honest, I don't know a thing about running a business. Hence the book. Did you not fucking pay attention to what I was telling you? Yeah, you know what? I'll think about it. Thanks, Christina. Glad to help. If I if I were theoretically, theoretically speaking, of course, start my own business what kind of advice would you have to offer well i thought he was about to like ask her out ask her out yeah he yeah. went a very different route well i don't know theoretically speaking you probably should have asked me out in that scenario <laughs> the timing seemed perfect <laughs> there's a lot of things you could do but respect be respectful to the people that you hire sell what you know and are good at work in an industry with high demand fuck she's got a lot of good wow, advice wow you sure know, you sure know a lot about business Maybe she's read that book before Actually, I just read the little blurb on the back of that book. Fuck. Oh, I see. Not bad advice. Now who's the liar? Yeah, Caught you, Christina. Caught but my main opinion is just to be bold and do it if it's something you want to do, of course. The eyebrows say so. To be honest, it is something I've considered doing for a long time. I don't know. It's just, it's just hard to imagine anything else but this job at the moment. My mind is a blur. Well, if it's something you would do, let me know. I'll be your secretary with benefits you'd be hired in a heartbeat <laughs> yeah that's if that was your job application that's secretary it. with benefits <laughs> really that'd be so cool i'd be really helpful i promise you know i already you already kill it in the office oh please i can do way more than i currently do i can run tyler's business better than he can i read the back sleeve of a book <laughs> then we should we should do it together Let's do it. To what exactly? We could be business partners. Oh, I'm a little disappointed, but that'd still be awesome. I, I'm free, I'm I'm honored. I'm not gonna lie. That settles it. If I ever start a business, you'll be the first person I ask to be partners. If I ever need a wife, you're the first person I'll ask to be partners. Deal. Anyway, I'm gonna look for my book. New business or not, we should probably get back soon. Yeah, you, you're probably right. <laughs> Were you going in for a smooch? I tried. There was no option. So now you just have to keep walking this way. And now, now at some point, you got to pull your phone out of your pocket and then pretend to look at it and then be like, oh, right, oh okay. Because do you, do you ever do that? You walk in the wrong direction and you feel too stupid when you realize to just do a pivot. So you have to look at your phone and pretend like... Nope. You've never done that? Nope, I just turn around. I've started just turning around, but... That's because after I realized how stupid it is to like pretend like that all the strangers around me would see me look at my phone and be like, oh, I got to go that oh, way. the other way. <laughs> oh, man, my favorite, Frederick Nietzsche. Oh, no. Oh, Whisper Girl told oh, no. you not to. What's that? What's that? Just an author I like. I picture him all bashful. It's just not. Just someone I like to read. <laughs> who, who is it? Frederick Nietzsche, kind of a guilty pleasure for me. Believe it or not, 
but I read it at work all the time to clear my head. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, you know that's pretty weird when I say that out loud. No, you're not gonna believe this, but I guess I kind of have a confession to make. If it's that uh -huh. you like the same book, I don't know if that's really a confession. It's more of just like a... <gasps> you're not gonna believe it, but I don't really... This is more of a confession. I thought she was gonna be like, I have a confession to make. I like him too, because... I was like, well, you just tell him then. Anyways, I, I can't stand them. I mean, not that I have anything against them. They're just not for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that's a yeah, shit done. Tim Allen. I did the same thing. I do the same thing. I read niche just to clear my head at work. Are, are, are you messing with me right now? No, I'm completely serious. Wow, that's just... I'm for <sighs> cereal, Frank. Completely for cereal. You you force many to think differently about you. That. Charge they heavily to your account. You come nigh to them, and yet wet your pants, for they <laughs> never forgive you. I can't read this. You I... go beyond them, but the higher you rise, the smaller does the eye of envy see you. Most of all, however, is the flying one hated. It's too deep for me. I don't even have a fucking word with this guy I saying. Know what that means. That would clog my head. I thought we were going to end it together. That would have been nice and cute. It would clog my head. Oh, are you looking at me waiting yeah. for me to do it? I, no. <laughs> I, well, I, I thought Christina would. I always loved that quote. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking I, doing? I'm going in. It's too hot in this room. <laughs> I, I, th I think I love you. I'm fucking sweating bullets over here. Oh, no. Oh, come on. You just killed the moment, Frank, you fucking creepy fuck. Why do guys always have to be so pushy? Why can't we just enjoy something cool that we have in common without all these expectations? No, I didn't mean it like, like love. I'm just being honest. I'm just Come being honest. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. One thing in common and you love me? Give me a break. Also, she's pretty hot. <laughs> you should probably get going, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, probably, you weird fuck. Well... Uh. That's 0 for 2. <laughs> Good work, you dumbass. That was guaranteed. We were gonna we did it. We were doing it. Do you think she still wants to be business partners with us? Because that sounded like a really good idea, and I think we should give it a shot. Yeah, let's be business partners. <laughs> that's that's all I was going for. I just wanted to be business partners. It was a ruse. <laughs> oh, no. She was listening. Oh, no. Look how sad they are. Everyone, did everyone fucking listen to that? Oh, oh shit. Are we gonna get fucking fired? Ta Tyler? Oh, boy. You two better have a really good explanation for this. For this restaurant not having unicorn frappe lappuccinos. That's your fault. For what? What do you mean, for what? You gotta be kidding me, Frank. You two have been gone for 20 freaking minutes. It's not that, it's not that much. Oh, jeez, Tyler, relax. It was my idea. Frank just needed a break. Guys clearly have uh, cooped up there too long. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, Christina, but you're fired. What? But, but she just started a job week ago. You can't fire her. I can. I just did. Secretaries are a dime a dozen. Even more replaceable than programmers. Ouch. <laughs> Throw coffee in his face. Throw this is an outrage. Face. We were only gone for 20 minutes. <laughs> this is an outrage. This is an outrage. <laughs> was, it wasn't like, it didn't sound like a heated moment. It was like a presidential, like, this, this is, is an, an outrage. outrage. <laughs> Gotta do like weird hand motions. This is an outrage. You got to be 20, kidding me. 20 minutes too long. Do you have any idea how much work there is to be done for this sprint? Why don't you tell him about the sprint, Tyler? How you're just giving him more work? Frank doesn't need to know the ins and outs of the company. All he needs to know is that there's work to be done. That's how he likes it anyways. Oh, I can't wait to quit. Christina is perfect for the company. She's smart, honest, and hardworking. You can't fire her. Frank, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll be fine. And you, Frank, I'm tired of you thinking you have a say in the way I run my business. It's not your place. You write code and nothing else. You got it. Everyone's just watching this guy get fucking verbally abused Don't talk here. to me that way. Doing it. He's finally doing it. Excuse me? <laughs> I will talk to you any way I deem fit. Now you get back to work. No. <laughs> How about a big no. hard no? I know. 
Excuse me? I said I, no. What I meant was, excuse, excuse, me? excuse me? I said no, I quit. What? You, you can't quit. We have deadlines. I just did. Good luck without me. I'll be fine without you. Millennials. They all love tech jobs. Good luck getting a new one without my recommendation. Need I remind you that this company is your only experience in industry? You're screwed, Frank. Oh yeah, throw coffee in the face, coffee in the face, coffee in the face. Or kick to the groin, that one's that's Give good as well. Give him the coffee? Let's go, Christina. Is she still willing to leave with you? Does she yeah. love you now, maybe? Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. I was trying to, you know, stand up to him. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, you don't have to quit for me. Oh, are you shitting me? I didn't I didn't have to quit. <laughs> I'm not quitting for you. I'm quitting for me. Well, then I respect that and believe you completely that it was entirely for your own reasons. Damn, that guy's a jerk. So, what are you going to do now? Start your own business. You know what? I think I'm going to take your advice and start my own business. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, you know, you're so right. My code is basically the thing holding this company up. Without it, it'd be nothing. I agree. I think you could do it. I might need your help, though. <laughs> That's as long as I could hold it. I, I, I thought I could do a longer thing, but I started too strong. I should have drawn it out. I think she. I think she wants to do it. We're gonna get her. She's just thinking about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> really, my help in what way? <laughs> Help me run it. I think together we could start and run a vastly superior company at Tyler's. Maybe we could even hire Ronnie and Katie out from under them. I have no idea what your old company does or what your new company's going to do. Just code, Did man. you really mean it? Just program code. code. Just selling codes. <laughs> Just selling lines. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll be tough, but you know what Niche had said? Yes. Oh, shit. I do. There's find always the some madness in love, the but there's one. no... There's always some reason in madness. Hugh... Who has a why to live can bear almost any how. That which does not kill us makes us stronger. Oh, this one. He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. Was that an accurate quote? Oh, kiss her, smash the button. Wait, what? She's into this? You told her you fucking loved her. I'm looking forward to this new adventure, Frank, in both marriage and business. Me too, Christina. How did that possibly work out for us? You sabotaged it so many different ways. You force many to think differently about you. That charge they heavily fuck in a relationship. Fuck yeah, we did one. We did. We did a one. We made a relationship Good happen. Good job, Frank Takahashi. You're good for you, buddy. Getting the girl. Takahashi, is he Asian? Yep. You couldn't tell. Shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we finally did it. We bagged one. We got a girlfriend. I gotta fucking get out of this room though. It's so fucking hot in here. It's perfect. I gotta take a break. You're dying, right? It's not just me? No, it's like living in hell. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be.